What is going on guys? It's Joe Young. Uh, today we are going to be updating the 125. Um, it's been a couple months since the last update and as you can see the carpeted plants are carpeting like crazy. So I'm um, super excited. Um, you can probably compare it to the last update like it was literally like just like maybe like a small patch here that only covered this but now it's pretty pretty well carpeted. Um, I did have a um, a bunch of extra plants that I had on the side here that kind of blocked a lot of the light so that's why these guys started or started not to move over here they went that way because there was more light um, the Kimberly's here are taking off like mad um, I did sell a bunch of them already so that's why it's kind of like cut off but um, I'm probably going to replant a lot of these because these are stems that have already been cut so um, yeah I those have been multiplying really well these guys are doing really well. Um, those were recently also trimmed and, and sewed off. So this is like kind of the uh, the semi-forest look. All right, and let's talk about a little bit about the fish. Uh, the fish are doing really well. Um, not really much uh, going on in terms of the discus. The blue diamonds, they finally stop uh, producing eggs every other day or every like three days or whatever. I think they kind of took a... A little break there uh, which is good for them because they need to like do something else other than just you know do it all day <laughs> all right so a neat little thing that I, I recently picked up um, these are pleco caves pretty much um, you know they're just made out of like stones um, I had to buy them in a package of six um, so I put in a couple here I think I put four so there's just two in the middle here just because there's really no plants growing um, in the dead center area so I just kind of threw them in there for the plecos to kind of just run around you know make the little home because I really don't have any other rocks any other like wood in this tank just because I'm using all the room just to gr try to grow plants the plecos are really liking it uh, this guy here is a little bit too big for this so what he'll do is he'll just kind of stick his head in and the rest of his body is kind of just like sticking out but uh, he seems to enjoy uh, doing that so that's pretty fun for him uh, the little loaches the skunk loaches will go in there uh, as well so it's pretty cool to see them going in and out um, of their little homes and then off to the far left side um, it's a little bit darker just because a lot of the extra plants um, that I have I just kind of float them and that's why it's all covered here in terms of just um, plant matter so for example if I just like moved like the plant mass away from that you see how it just brightens up um, but yeah so there's a lot of just extra plants that I have that I just need to really either toss replant them keep them like uh, there's a lot of just species that uh, I like to keep uh, that I don't know if I want to regrow them or just like try them out later or just let them float so I just let them float half the time and then on this side um, in terms of plants um, the same uh, curlies are still here uh, this one I'm still trying to grow like I really haven't had success like I said um, but it looks like two stems kind of made it maybe three um, these are the sunsets uh, or tell the sunsets uh, for me for whatever reason in this tank they don't really grow well they'll like grow and then like they'll melt like in a couple weeks but it looks like these two stems are doing pretty well so hopefully the next generation these uh, stems will do good where I can just keep trimming and growing them and uh, just really replicate that. Um, the two extra caves are on this side. Uh, as you can see the carpeting plants, um, they're still doing okay on this side. They're not really taking off as much as, just because there's not a, a lot of light on this side, like I mentioned before. Um, oh, one new stem plant that I'm trying to grow here. This is the uh, Laguigia White. Um, I have a bunch of immersed version of it upstairs um, and this is a um, I guess the transition plant that I'm trying to transition so as you can see um, only the top here is really what it should look like submerge the rest is an immersed version of it so the, the leaves are a little bit broader um, so it should look something like um, really like these guys back here uh, maybe a Cuba um, so it's going to be similar to that, but uh, the leaves are like basically white, which is uh, pretty interesting, pretty cool. Those are pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think they were like 15 bucks a stem or something like that. Um, so that is not uh, a cheap plant, my friend. And also, um, most of the time, you'll get them kind of small too. So um, hopefully that does well and that takes off. Um, 
these extra uh, brose are doing pretty good. Um, they really like a shaded area, not really intense light. And also the SAEs has been doing really well in terms of keeping the uh, hair algae from growing in that plant area. Not really much going on in terms of new additions. Uh, they're all the same fish. Um, the one fish that I was kind of trying to health back, um, I mean, he's eating, he's doing well, but I don't think he's going to ever fully recover. Um, he's always going to look like he's skinny. Um, he didn't, you know, there's not really much I can do. Um, I don't really want to just kill him for no reason. I mean, he's eating, he's healthy. Um, it's just he is going to be deformed, I guess, um, from now on. And that's okay. Um, you know, I'll, I'll house him until, you know, his life's over. And hopefully he'll be happy. So, uh, hopefully you guys like the update. Um, let me know what you guys think about the tank. Um, I know you guys are just curious of what it looks like, what I'm doing with it. Uh, the plants are pretty much the same. I'm, you know, just growing plants, uh, you know, trying out new stuff. So really not much is going to change in this tank. Um, you know, the same discuits are going to be around. I'm still really debating and starting up another tank, um, for uh, discus breeding pair. Um, I already have two confirmed pairs sitting in here, so I can definitely you know do that whenever. But um, right now I focus on another project. Um, you'll probably already see that, that teaser video soon. Anyways guys, uh, peace.